Loving Heavenly Father, we come to you this hour asking for your blessing as we are gathered together in this webinar. May your blessings of wisdom and guidance be upon us all for the sharing and impartation of knowledge and skills by our resource speakers, facilitators, and moderators. Bless also the participants so that they would be able to glean the information from this activity and share what we have learned in the spirit of your generosity. Lord, we bring you our prayers, our commitment, our gifts to you this day. Let us who have a keen dedication and awareness of your creation have courage and conviction that we are able to contribute to the sustainability of the earth. Inspire us as we make choices so that we will recognize the impact our lives have on our environment and our human family around the globe. Pour out your blessings upon us today, Lord. May each of our actions reveal our awareness that we are partners with you in the creation and sustainability of this earth that you have given to us to appreciate and enjoy. We ask this in the name of your Son. Amen. Now, to formally start our session for the day, we would like to call the Assistant Division Chief of the Advocacy Division under the Consumer Policy and Advocacy Bureau, Ms. Vivienne O. Alarcado. Good morning, po, Ms. Vivienne. Good morning, Ms. Liza. And um, welcome po sa ating ika-209 na webinar series. Ang topic natin for today ay tungkol sa promotion of Philippine products and services uh, which is spearheaded by the Bureau of Domestic Trade Promotion of the DTI. Um, BDTP is uh, tasked to promote efficient marketing and distribution of pro local products and services and seeks to expand uh, and strengthen the linkages among the country's micro, small, medium enterprises uh, through information exchange and um, market matching. Also, uh, the BDTP uh, conceptualizes, uh, monitors, and evaluates uh, programs, plans, and um, projects intended to create awareness of domestic marketing opportunities uh, to, for new project uh, technologies and investments. Ano po ba ang kahalagahan ng webinar natin for today? Ito po ay para um, malaman at maintindihan natin kung ano po ba ang importance ng pagmamarket ng local products at ano po ba ang contribution nito sa ating, sa ating economy. Also, uh, to understand how the Bureau creates uh, and strengthen partnerships among their stakeholders and it, uh, also to, this is the opportunity for us to know uh, the projects and services of the BDTP. Uh, on behalf of our directors, Attorney Marcus Valdez and Attorney Chet Carbonell, I would like to thank our speaker, uh, Director Rosario Tanyada Liwanag of the BDTP for gracing our webinar. So um, I encourage our participants to patronize locally manufactured products and services and, of course, ask questions for us to learn a lot from this uh, morning session. Again, magandang umaga and uh, maraming salamat po. Thank you, thank you po, Ms. Vivian. And to echo Ms. Vivian, we are very fortunate to have with us our speaker from the DPI Bureau of Domestic Trade Promotion. Um, from 2006 to 2011, she was the Executive Assistant to Senior Vice President of Dubai World Trade Center. Prior to joining BDTP, she was supervising trade industry development specialist in Center for International Trade Exposition and Missions, or CITEM. Currently, she is the Assistant Director of Bureau of Domestic Trade Promotion. Ladies and gentlemen, let us, let us all welcome Assistant Director Rosario Tanyada Liwana. Good morning po, A.D. Chato. The floor is now yours. Okay. Magandang umaga sa lahat. Uh, we are happy uh, on behalf of Director Maribig Punoan, our Director of the Bureau of Domestic Trade Promotion, to be invited for this webinar. And uh, I'd like to congratulate uh, your group to be able to con uh, for your continuous no, no, 
arrangement for this type of uh, activities. And uh, as uh, mentioned a while ago by uh, Ms. Vivian, uh, the mandate of the Bureau of Domestic Trade Promotions, uh, I'd like also to inform everyone that we are under the, the, the Trade Promotions Group. And uh, from the Trade Promotions Group, uh, we are uh, our we are in in the uh, we the trade promotions group composed of the Design Center of the Philippines, and then the Center for International Trade Expositions and Missions, and Export uh, Marketing Promotions or EMB, and uh, the last one is the Philippine Trade Training Center. So these are the agencies involved under the trade promotions group, where in the Bureau of Domestic Trade Promotion is a member. And now uh, let me uh, switch off my, uh, my video so we can uh, share with you our presentation to be able for you to appreciate the programs and activities that we are uh, giving to, especially to the small, medium enterprises company and uh, to carry on the activities of the Bureau of the Domestic Trade Promotions. I mean, can we now, uh, men, uh, to be able to carry the mandate, uh, we we uh, will be presenting to you the different programs and projects of the Department of, uh, of the Bureau of Domestic Trade Promotions. Next slide, please, Amy. Prior to uh, COVID-19 pandemic, there were three major programs, projects of the BDTP. These were domestic trade fairs, go local program, and buying and selling missions. Now we have added Bagsakan project and digitalization initiatives to promote the products of SM, uh, SMEs. I will be discussing each activity in the following slides. Under the domestic trade fairs, there are two major activities or events being held annually the National Food Fair, and the National Trade Fair. These recurring events are being organized in cooperation with the DPI regional and provincial offices to provide opportunities for SMEs to sell their products to major retailers, institutional buyers, and consumers in Metro Manila. These two events serve as a harvesting ground for local suppliers and potential exporters. BDTP also conducts the National Arts and Crafts Fair to sustain awareness and promotion of Philippines indigenous arts and crafts and to engage local artisans and makers whenever funds are available at the Congressional Support Funds. Over the years, BDTP's National Trade Fairs has achieved meaningful outcomes. From 2016 to 2022, the BDTP assisted 3,351 exhibitors generating 653 million sales and visited by 527,050 visitors. It also generated 13,056 jobs. The Bureau immediately shifted to new modes of national fairs when the global pandemic hit in 2020. In the latter part of 2021, BDTP resumed its physical trade fairs combining the physical event with a digital or, or online event called a hybrid trade fair by launching its first hybrid national food fair held on September 17 to 26, 2021. In 2022, the BDTP organized the second and bigger hybrid national food fair held on June 1 to 5 at the Mega Mall Mandaluyong City, participated by 252 physical visitors, which generated 65.42 sales. And it also generated 1,308 jobs. The BDTP assisted 70 uh, MSEs signed up to Lazada's marketplace and featured 274 MSEs in the online catalog exhibitors directory called uh, Sisidla. During lockdown, the BDTP launched its first virtual national trade fair in the Philippines from January 27 to February 2, 2021, participated by 111 SMEs. 
The virtual event generated 8.96 and received inquiries from 31 countries. In the latter part of the year, BDTT conducted its first hybrid national food fair from September 17 to 26, 2021, and generated sales of 15.7 million, both for online NFF and physical event. The first hybrid national trade fair com a combined physical and online event that focused on the concepts of sustainability for SMEs, consumers, and the general public was recently concluded last November 16, 2020. Next slide, please. This was the first physical national trade fair after all trade fairs were canceled in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Around 250 SMEs, manufacturers of green and sustainable and eco-friendly products, as well as artisanal and heritage crops in a traditional fair plus more than 200 SMEs as virtual exhibitors in an e-commerce platform, a virtual trade show and all face live, Facebook and other online streaming sites participated in this event. Next is the Bagsahan Special Project. First launched the following postponement of the National Food Fair last March 2020 due to the Proclamation 922 or the Declaration of a State of Public Health Emergency. The Bagsahan Special Project seeks to extend support for SMEs, farmers, fruit growers, and social crops affected by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. From helping mango growers, from Guimaras in March, this initiative has been strengthened as a commitment in support to the Bayanihan We Heal as, act, as one act to ensure the availability of food products and help SMEs sell their products and support the economy during the pandemic. The objectives of uh, putting up these Bagsakan projects are to help ensure the availability of food and essential items for buyers and consumers in time of pandemic provide a platform for SMEs, farmers, fruit growers, and cooperatives affected by the pandemic to market and sell their fresh processed food and non-food products. And the third one uh, objective is to reinforce the buy local, go local campaign message and heighten the awareness on buying locally made products and supporting Filipinos SMEs. Its key components are number one, digital marketing, Second, online pre-event order taking. Third is contactless payment and delivery of products. And the last one is selling activity. Through this project, the Bureau actively encourages SMEs to transition to online businesses and digital transactions. Digital marketing in social media and online order taking through messaging apps open direct channels for SMEs and their consumers to connect and negotiate. Cashless payments and the use of delivery apps work in favor of SMEs and consumers to transfer payment and goods with added security and tracking features. Through this project, SMEs, farmers, and social co-ops can efficiently market their products to a wider audience at lower price while they can receive direct payment for their business cash flow. To date, the Bagsakan has generated a total of 77.85 million sales from 89 Bagsakan events since it started in 2020. The Bagsakan has online version in partnership with Mayani.ph farm-to-table e-commerce platform. For those who may be interested to participate, we have three upcoming events but two will be held this year in 2022 and the other one will be in April, 2023. And this is the one in Farmer's Place and Clark City, Pampanga, supposedly scheduled this November, but it has been uh, rescheduled in uh, April, 2023. And uh, the other upcoming events of Bagsakan will be uh, in uh, Activity Center in Glorieta, Makati on November 25 to 30. 
and another one at this festival mall in Montilupa on December 7 to 11, 2022. Next is the Golocal program. The Golocal is a flagship program, a platform that provides SMEs free access to local and global markets. We enable SMEs to go mainstream by providing them retail space in malls and online partners. There are different programs or component activities within which the Go Local program is currently operating the local market. Hello, am I okay? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Is it clear? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, I'd like to continue again. I'm sorry, I was interrupted by, by the noise. I thought uh, there's a problem. Anyway, let me continue. There are different programs or activity components within which Go Local program is currently operating in the local market. These are the concept store, a brick and mortar store located at the DTI main building in Makati, that serve as an incubation, market testing facility, a sourcing hub for the program's partner, retail establishments, and at the same time, a retail store for walk-in customers. Next is the pop-up stores. These are standalone retail spaces provided by the retail establishments in their areas in a strategic location within the malls and operated by private entity or retail operators. And then the, the in-store selling spaces. These are spaces within the stores. Like if you go to All Day, Rostan Supermarket, Shopwise, Robinson's, SM Supermarket, Walter Mudd, and City Mall, you will see uh, go local products on display within the malls. And we have the latest program, which is the opening of the two inline stores in Ayala, Manila Bay, and UP Town Center, respectively. These are commercial storefront retail spaces being offered by the malls. Since uh, it started, the project has enabled SMEs to go mainstream, to gain access to local and global markets. As of October 2022, we have onboarded 852 SMEs and generated a total sales of 467 million since 2016. Moreover, GoLocal also partnered with e-commerce like Shopee, Lazada, Shopinas, Union Bank, Global Linker, with 135 SMEs migrated online. From October, last October 2021 to March 2022, the Philippines participated in the World Expo Dubai at the United Arab Emirates, showcasing the Go Local and Mara Huyu brands in a retail store with a total area of 97.40 square meters that offered a wide variety of products, ranging from food products to personal care, fashion merchandise, gifts and souvenirs, and home decors, housewares that are uniquely Filipino but contemporary and attractive to the international community. The Go Local and the Marahuyo Boutique Retail Outlet generated a total gross sales of 1,556,090 to be exact 90.68 dirhams which is equivalent to 21 million pesos, 785, 269.52 during the six month run of the Philippines Pavilion at the Expo Dubai. And it attracted a total of 1,399,531 visitors. Then in response to the global pandemic that has affected countries worldwide, the DTI has launched a national advocacy campaign that aims to help SMEs who have been severely affected by the crisis to, up and to uplift and create opportunities for their recovery and the growth. The DTI has embarked on a nationwide campaign to reinforce go the government's aspiration to promote awareness of Philippine-made products and homegrown brands. The campaign is also a call 
to both the public and private sectors to support local businesses by patronizing local products and services all year round. Then we introduced the Plex Fridays campaign. And uh, this is the initiative also, by the way, all these programs of the Go Local was the initiative of our former secretary, uh, Ramon Lopez. Then we introduced the Plex campaign. Uh, this is an offshoot of the Buy Local, Go Local campaign, which is a call to action online campaign that encourages netizens to post their photos wearing, using, or eating anything local every Friday with the hashtag Flex Fridays. Hence, it creates consciousness and pride. The Buy Local and Helping SMEs Recover from local jobs. Fridays has generated over 1,000 organic social media postings on Facebook since November 2021. The online campaign has also received strong support from government agencies such as DepEd, DICT, DOT, DOST, TESDA, Senator Angara, Senator De La Rosa, Representative Herrera, and even the perfect morning host, Ms. Sherry Gossi. To widen the campaigns of reach, no? to widen the campaigns reach, the DTI has partnered with uh, Jollibee, with the latter to digitally promote local SMEs through its own social media channels. Jollibee Flex Fridays campaign ran from July 22 to October 2022. Oh, that's the last day today, and then I don't know it will be at after October 31, 2022. And the Plex Friday campaign will also be, uh, it's, it's being seen now in the train uh, platform at Adverse Event in all 20 LRT1 stations like Baclaran, EDSA, Libertad, Hill Puyat, Vito Cruz, Quirino Avenue, Pedro Hill, United Nations, Central Terminal, Carriedo, and, and so forth. And uh, this will be the, the, it was the first attempt no, of the Plex Friday's campaign to go beyond digital advertising making use of mass transport media to further raise awareness. And now the digitalization of uh, SMEs. BDTP assisted SMEs to go online by selling and uh, by onboarding them to various e-commerce platforms. As of August 2022, there are 1,036 SME sellers onboarded to Shopee Lazada, Union Bank, Global Linker, Shopinas, and Carousel with 4,559 products are being showcased and sold in the permanent digital malls and marketplaces. To date, uh, the BDTP has been able to launch 13 permanent digital malls on leading e-commerce sites such as uh, Shopinas, Lazada, Global link or Shopinas, the e-commerce, the e-commerce platform of Shopinas are temporary closed where the Go Local and Marahuyo stores are unported. I, I think we're going to revive this already. We are presently coordinating with them. And the last uh, activity is the Nash, the hybrid national trade fair selling missions. Next slide, please. The BDTP assisted SMEs introduced their products to potential buyers and explored the possibility of marketing cooperation through selling or buying missions upon the request of the DTA regions. We are always in, uh, in contact or we always cooperate with our regional offices, uh, the provincial offices with regards to this type of uh, activity even with the other projects like the national trade fairs and the, and the, and, and the Go Local programs. We are always in contact with the regional office uh, group. We were able to, uh, following the success of the previous buying missions activity in Iloilo, the Bureau assisted the DTI Aklan 
another for another buying mission. It was held last April 2022 to 2024. Then uh, it, the Aklan Pina Piver and Fiber Festival is a marketing event that aimed to exhibit and sell new weaving blends of creative, locally handcrafted products using indigenous natural fibers and other raw materials from Aklan in lifestyle environment. The selling mission generated a sales of 2.63 million. This ends my presentation and thank you once again. Thank you for that informative presentation, Edi Chato, and thank you for walking us through the programs and services of BDTP. Um, good morning po ulit sa ating participants here in Zoom and to everyone joining us via DTI Consumer Care Facebook and DTI Philippines YouTube. Before we proceed with the question and answer portion, here are some reminders. Can you stay muted po unless you are addressing the speakers? Addressing the speaker and our moderator there. Please be on the phone. It will be posted in the chat box section. Para mas maging interactive naman po ang ating Q&A portion, we encourage everyone to click the raised hand button so we can call you to ask directly to our speaker. Pwede rin pong i-send ang inyong questions sa chat box. Mm, ayan po, habang wala pa po nag-raise hand, we will um, read some questions po from the chat box. Our, for our first question po, AD, how can MSME join the trade fair or bagstakad and what are the requirements daw po? Uh, there are there are uh, checklists of requirements, application form, and uh, usually we always coordinate with our regional offices, uh, provincial offices to endorse the participants. So from the from the regions, we will be asking for the profile of the companies. It's basically, there's an application like for the NTF. There's a separate application checklist as well, requirements, and as well as with the uh, with the bagsakan. Same with the Golokal program. Uh, with me is Aimee. Aimee, you may share because this is typically, you may share in the chat, but the typical uh, checklist of uh, requirements when you participate in all these projects. Magkakapare-pareho lang naman po ito sometimes, no? But there are some areas na may pagkakaiba din. But uh, we will share with you the typical uh, checklist of requirements for the Golokal. And as I said, it's always being indoors. Participation in our events always being endorsed by the regional offices. Aini is our one of the project officers who uh, asked, uh, instructed me to join with me so that he'll be able to. I, Thank I think you, Aini Chan. Okay. Uh, Um, to our um, trade fairs present opportunities to build on customer relationships. With this, how can MSMEs maximize their participation? Any tips now for on showcasing their product and boosting their sales? How, how, how is that again? How can they maximize? How can MSMEs maximize their participation? And uh, is there any tips daw po on showcasing their product and boosting their skills? Ah, uh, okay. Um, I the, the, how to maximize is uh, every 
trade fairs, all the programs, we are open to, to uh, all these activities are open to them. So uh, I, I think when they participate in a trade fair or even other projects, they should be ready not only with the products, but also with the proper they have to, to be ready with business cards and then flyer so that they will be able to promote further the products. As I said, not only the products that they have to carry, but, all, but also proper promotional collaterals for them to be able to maximize. While the organizers like BDTP on our end, we see to it that we came up with our own list of invitees to, uh, to be able to attend that event and, uh, and for them to, uh, to be able to be promoted. And the tips on, uh, what's the other question? How, what are the tips on? Showcasing their products and boosting their sales. Uh, okay, that's it. So they have to be really be ready to be a, a really a salesperson when they are in, in a trade fair so that they, uh, whenever a buyer will be come to them, they should be ready with the pricing, not only the retail price, but also this is also an avenue for them to be trained and to be ready when it's not only for local local buyers, but should be for uh, the plan for them to be to be an exporter. So when they um, when they are ready, I, as I said, there should be a complete parapernalia, yeah, commercial uh, the, the promotional parapernalia for them to be ma to maximize and to be ready also for the next step. It's not only to be a local supplier, but also to be uh, a future exporter. So I, I hope the I was able to uh, provide answer to them. Thank you, po, AD Chad. The query, okay. Oh, oh, for our next question, po, what are the challenges does BDTP encounter in conducting these activities? Po? Uh, there are lots of uh, challenges. Well, which is sometimes beyond the control of the of the BDTP or the organizer. Like for example, like uh, logistics. That's the number one problem. Logistics and transferring the the modules. There are some areas na merong mga uh, uh, logistics problem, administrative problems. These are the challenges that an organizer. If you if you plan to be a future or would be organizer. I think the best is to come up with a checklist. It's very important to come up with a checklist, the proper identification of the venue and the proper uh, identification of your partners because they're in terms of logistics and other requirements, administrative uh, issues and problems. Those are the challenges that we are facing. And also at the same time, like what happened in, in, in uh, recently, the COVID-19 uh, uh, really affected the trade fairs industry, the uh, exhibition industry was really affected. And, and, and this is really a major challenge to all the organizers. If I may further explain, uh, it's not only giving tips, no, but, but um, for, I, I, I don't know if there are some uh, would-be suppliers or exporters uh, attending this uh, uh this session, but uh, it is really important to really understand the, the your market um, strategies or planning. So uh, when you when you participate in a local trade fair, you should be also coordinate with uh, what's the problem with our product. You should also understand is it really for product development? Is it really needs packaging? So I, uh, the the trade promotions group, as as I mentioned earlier, will be able to help you. It will be connected to ito ba, ba what is uh, like like BDTP. We started with the BDTP. Um, I'm sorry, there's a sound. Do you hear? There's an ongoing construction in our neighbor. Sorry, sorry for that. So uh, I will just explain briefly. Like uh, like BDTP is the one providing you with uh, with supplies. Uh, with the products and then after that for product development it would be the science center of the philippines and um, and uh, once you're ready with the product and uh, your 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 packaging is okay you may now start uh, coordinating with the philippine trade training center for uh, possible how to export what are the steps of uh, basic of exporting it's there's a seminar for that so it should be the pttc and then once you are ready with your products for export you may now join sitem Sitem and then TMB will be the one to help you uh, to cross border, to go out and uh, promote your products uh, abroad. 
AMB and Cytem. Let's see. Thank you, Eli Chato. Um, Sir Rick is raising his hand po. Good morning po, Sir Rick. You can unmute your mic po. Yes, good morning. Uh, yes, good morning. First of all, I would like to congratulate uh, your, your division, especially your presentation po ni uh, Director Jose mm -hmm. Rosario Liwanag. Mm -hmm. And thanks for that, Ms. Onyate. Well, uh, I, I'm so amazed no, na maganda yung mga produkto kami, mga campaign ng division nyo, especially nung during pandemic, no? yung pangbagsakan, na ngayon kasi na, na nasuggest po natin yan sa kongreso kasi I work in the legislation. Mm -hmm. Yung ngayon is kadiwa, di po ba? Mm -hmm. And uh, later yung sa SMEs kasi we also, mm -hmm. well, this representation na imbitahan para pag ng go ng 2009. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, yung po mga projects na to, gusto po sana namin pagtulungan sa inyo. No? Sa, uh, I'm the Philippine Coalition of Consumer Welfare na ibitahan din po tayo. Pero kasi itong trade and promotion is a cup of my tea. No? <laughs> when three, 35 years na po kung mm -hmm. nito, no? when I retired, nakakasama ko yung ibang mga Yusek Yudan, yung patay, si Atty. Big D. Pagiba. Kasamahan uh, na. Mm -hmm. At consumer, pero po, nasa Philippine Coalition of Consumer. Mm -hmm. I mean, po, uh, yung aming sharing sa inyo, uh, pwede Uh, mga, makasama kami kung sakasakali oh. pang trade, promote, trade and uh, promotions nyo mm -hmm. at naiimbitan din din magsalita. Ang gusto ko lang maitulong sa inyo ngayon is mapropag mm -hmm. makareach out po inclusive sa consumers natin. Kasi po, uh, me myself, naririnig ko po yung go local uh, mm -hmm. mga ato <laughs> yung uh, pagtulong no, sa revenue natin doon sa mga apektado ng pandemya. Mm -hmm. Yung palang naka... So, yung, oh, uh, gusto ko lang sana ma-isigur okay. at uh, ma-imbita dyan para okay. magka ng, ng ano, ng coming from the independent civil society organization mm -hmm. to uh, recognize as a private stakeholder. So, yun po yung mm -hmm. Coalition of Consumer Welfare. Kaya po, mm -hmm. Ang po, nag-offer kandang si, alala. Oh, maganda po yan, Sir, Sir Rick. Oh, no, open po kami for collaboration. And uh, especially po when it comes to promoting uh, small, medium enterprises companies, very open po kami. Na-mention po niyo yung Kadiwa. This is a good project of the of the new administration. But uh, mentioned I already mentioned that I started from a... Uh, From exhibitions during the time of President Marcos, the, the father of uh, President Bongbong Marcos, we started this Kadiwa. We also have this Philippine trade exhibits long time ago. And these are the two important projects. Uh, maganda nga ako, it really, uh, history repeats itself. So, nire-revive po natin. Maganda din pong idea if we could come up with yung Talipapa market every Sunday. That's a good idea also. Sige po, we're open to uh, ano, collaboration. And uh, please uh, get in touch with us. I mean, would you mind to share also the contact details and email so that we can communicate not only here, but also for future communications. We can share with you our contact details, how uh, our my email, the email address of Director Marie Big Bunuan, as well as your our contact details. It is welcome. Okay. welcome. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. can get in touch with also. Because last okay. yesterday, I was also invited at anti-red tape. I spoke there, you know, mm -hmm. with the consumer concerns. So maganda ho ito, may synergy tayo at inabot pa ng kadiwa nung time ni Presidente. <laughs> Old, uh, ano na po ako. <laughs> so, so, yun po yung first ba? job ko po eh. When I joined, uh, that, ano ho, I really started a trade exhibition ho eh. So uh, that was my first job when I graduated from, ano, I joined the Philippine Trade Exhibits. There are so many nice projects of the First Lady, Mar Melda Marcos. I was yeah. part of this, this uh, team po. When we put up this all these activities, especially this one, hindi ko nakaka-relate yung mga millennial natin na director na uh, ato. Pero <laughs> ito, ito sa Senado kay, ano, kay Senator mm -hmm. uh -huh. at saka kay Cynthia Villar. Natutuwa uh -huh. po kasi, FYI uh -huh. lang, kunya, uh -huh. don't mind, 14 uh -huh. ka center ho ang in-open ni PBBM. Uh -huh. And uh, 
ang kadiwa, alam nila yan, makakabili po ng 35 pesos per kilo ngayon. Okay. Ay, salamat po, Ma'am Chato. Ay, kayo po, I, po, sir, I, I hope you could address that this kadiwa is not just a rolling store. Yes. Should be, there should be a permanent in each uh, municipality. Para po maganda. It will be a permanent kadiwa center. It's not just only for a few weeks, but it will be continued Yung on a permanent basis. Uh, nationwide na ito na dapat malaman ng mga kasamana bata sa atin dyan sa DTI. Mm. <laughs> so, ako po, marami salamat. Uh, Nag-give po ng sa chat box nung uh, ipo at saka number. Just in case uh, open po ako para po talaga malaman Marami salamat at congrats. Salamat din po. Miss Unya, salamat po. I I forgot to mention there's one question Miss Glaisa. Uh, uh, ano yung challenges? One of also of the challenges is the budget <laughs> and the planning. Sometimes kasi there are lots of projects that we cannot handle because of due to limited time, limited planning. Should be a proper planning when you want to to put up or to join an activity should be a uh, for an organizer if you want to be an organizer exhibit organizer very important check the requirements and the planning and budget thank you for edi chato and thank you for terry mm -hmm. um for our participants po sa mga gusto pa pong magtanong we encourage everyone po to click the rating button or you send your or send your questions through the chat box our next question naman po, ma'am, uh, what are the adjustments made by your agency to adopt to the new normal? Um, from, the uh, from the online selling, we just started, no? Uh, we are really uh, planning to, to be physically present na in all the activities that we are planning to organize for 2023, for next year. So, yun nga, we, from the normal, we will just be as normal as possible of organizing physical events. But we will still ano, keep continuing yung aming online uh, selling and promotions. We call it hybrid national fairs, yung mga hybrid natin uh, activities. Thank you po, Edi Chato, uh, for our next question po. Do you think it will be possible for MSMEs from the four provinces to join trade fairs and similar activities? Do you give assistance on the transport of goods and products for such activities? Mm, actually, even from, from the farthest, uh, no, you are open to, to participate and you can access. But very important if you could coordinate with your regional offices, the DTI, the DTI region office, and then the provincial office, they will be able to help you. I, I, I hope there are, I, I know that there are some region uh, participants here from the regions. And uh, this is it. They have to, 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 uh, to start coordinating with the DTI offices. It's very important because they will be able to help uh, the, supply, the SMEs, especially the small SMEs, to, to participate in our event. I think there are some uh, provisions or uh, requirements being uh, requested from, from regions. And that's very particular with, with the requirements, but they can, they can still uh, participate even if they are far away. If they want to go to Manila, Thank you po, A.D. Chato. Uh, may nag-raise po, Sir Eriberto. Mm. Can I meet your mic na po? Okay, uh, hello, hello. Uh, marinig niya ako, ma'am? Hello? Apo, clear po. Okay, yes, ma'am. Po. Uh, I'm an author and mm -hmm. I have books to sell. Mm -hmm. At saka registered na rin ako sa DTI. Mm -hmm. um, Mag-inquire lang ako, ma'am. Can I join the National Arts and Crafts Fair? Okay naman, sir. Pwede po yung Arts and Crafts Fair if you want to sell your products or your books, no? especially yes, the yes. books. But the Arts and Crafts Fair po depends on the budget availability of the Congress. But if you want po to, pro to promote your books, you can join the National Trade Fair and uh, go local. Because okay. these are locally made, ano po, local uh, produce. So, uh, by the way, for those... Uh, medyo ho kasi, iskiklear ko lang po, we are um, inviting SMEs producing 100% uh, locally uh, produced in, in in the Philippines. Meron po kasi mga ibang kinikwestiyon, may mga iba na may mga imported uh, materials, okay lang po yun, but as long as locally made here, 
uh, yung pag-assemble, pag uh, ano, uh, pero yung uh, when you when you say assemble, raw mats lang po ito na i-create mo like for example, be, made of something na ano ba yan, pag fashion, you're you're going to create ang mga acrylic something na imported, mga items na imported or yung mga ceramics, no? But this should be locally made here. You you are only using local imported materials. So for as long as 100% locally manufactured, pwede po mag-join sa uh, lahat ng activities ng Bureau of Domestic Trade Promotions. Thank you, ma'am. Apo, sir. Thank you po, sir, Roberto. Thank you po, AAD. Uh, for our next question po, how do you screen MSMEs? What are the criteria that you consider before you can accommodate MSMEs to join exhibits and trade fairs? Ang... Mm. Um, meron hong kaming check-up requirements. Ang pinaka-importante, they must be uh, registered company. Meron na po silang registration, both sa municipality nila, kung nasan sila, and business registration. Very important po yun. And then, uh, and then company profile, we will let find out also through the regions ano yung status ng production nila. Kasi po, when you participate sa mga trade fair, you should be ready when it comes to production. Baka po kasi you're introducing a new, a new product and then bigla po kayo magugulat na ang daming orders. Sometimes so you have to be ready when you join trade fairs na meron kayong capacity to produce. So yun po yung aming criteria. And also, like, uh, ang Go Local po kasi is uh, what we mentioned it's a uh, it's a, a different program. Para po kasi ito, pinaprepare po namin itong Go Local kasi ito po yung sourcing hub ng mga different retailers natin. So ang balak, ang lagi po namin ini-encourage, please give us a new product, a new line na hindi pa nakikita sa market. So if you are really wanted to to, to, kasi libre po lahat ito eh. You are not uh, being charged with any participation fee when it comes to Go Local. All you have to do is to bring your nice product, newly developed product na hindi pa nakikita sa other supermarkets and department stores na nandito na. And for food naman po, it should be FDA tested na po. Meron na po kayo registration sa FDA pag food. So ang gifts naman po, there's no problem for as long as this is 100% locally produced and uh, you have production capacity and you have a new products na i-introduce and is a sell and if you're interested po to 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 be displayed sa mga department stores like Rustans SM pwede po yan sa Go Local for the national trade fair po there's a separate requirements and always there's a screening committee when when it comes to national trade fair participation so lahat po ito there are documents na napakita sa chat ito po usually and the standard requirements po na pwedeng yung sundan Thank you, Ko Amy. Our next question naman po, how can consumers actively support local products and trade fair activity? Uh, very, ano po yan, always be with us when, when there's an activity, please visit us kasi marami po kayong makikita. I hope na hindi nyo na-miss out yung national uh, trade fair namin last uh, you uh, last November 16 to 22 uh be, be ready lang po with your cash to buy kasi there are some interesting items like i i, I sourced some items for christmas giveaways maganda po yung mga packaging nila so yun lang po the consumer please support our go local products and then the, by by supporting it you have to visit our projects and activities ipo ba tayong social media pl- platform ma'am meron din tayong social media Meron din tayong social media platform pala. Online. Lagi may, may meron kaming group in charge of ano. We, we have the Facebook uh, online uh, promotions, na, na social media. And we also deal with other e-commerce platforms like Lazada, Shopee Mall. Meron din kami doon mga website na being uh, may consolidator, e-consolidator kami who's always uh, ano, uh, doing yung campaign nila. So it's always both physical and local. Oh, sorry, I forgot you. <laughs> oh, pwede, pwede talaga yung online din. They can visit online. Thank you po, AD. Mm-mm. For next question naman po, um, MSMEs come from my uh, comprise 99.58% of PFA 2021 needs of establishment. How can your agency ensure that all, all MSMEs 
are given the equal opportunity to participate in the mm, We... Medyo, 99% is always come from the region. So, um, we don't, there's no discrimination when it comes to uh, screen acceptance no, or participation. Pero yung assurance na if all of this, I we, we try to invite all uh, SMEs to participate in, in the BDTP uh, programs and activities. But there are some uh, requirements that we have to comply. So, yun lang siguro, hindi ko maano na 100% assurance kasi there should be requirements that they have to submit or comply. But uh, for as long as they wanted to, I, I think it's very open for regional to, to, to open their arms no, when it comes to assistance. And we are also open 100% to all of them who would like to participate. So kaya lang po may mga requirements po tayo that we, are, that we need to, to submit and comply. Thank you for AD Chato. For next question, po, what are the usual costs that MSMEs need to consider in participating in activities and trade fairs? Pag, uh, locally, um, I would say that transportation and then yung products and marketing uh, expense nila. But I cannot give you the figure because I am not very... Uh, so I, um, my history is more on exports when you do abroad. I can easily give you. You have to be have at least 250,000 when you go out for a three or five days event. But for the, for for local uh, products, I think basically the the logistics, transportation, accommodation, and uh, plane fare if if they are coming from from the regions that needs uh, not that needs air, uh, air, airline uh, transportation so these are basically the expenses that they have to earn accommodation airline and um, and uh, other marketing promotions uh, allowances yun yung mga basically na, na uh, i'm not very particular with ano yung assistance that the uh, rog is providing for those who would like to join our Activity, but uh, I can just mention the the, uh, the items, no, but not with with the amount. But for the ex, uh, when you when you are an exporter and you want to participate in any countries, like when you go to uh, Japan, uh, to uh, to Germany, and to the Dubai, UAE, so there, there there's also uh, an amount that you have to to be ready. At least investment no, is two hundred fifty thousand to three hundred fifty thousand. It goes to uh, no, this goes to uh, to your paid fare, to your accommodation, daily allowance for meals, and and that's it. Po. And Thank also participation fee. If ever like for Saitem, I think they are charging participation fee when you when you when you when you go out. So that's a separate one. Kung ano yung participation fee, but two hundred fifty to two to three hundred is also for for overseas. But for local, I think it's 50%. That depends on the plane fare and the type of accommodation that you will be uh, using. So at least you have to be ready with 100,000. Thank you for Eli Chato. For our next question naman po, this is from uh, Kerlui Ayupan. Can all of MSNEs join Go Local? Yes, definitely po. Bali po, ganito po yun. Um, maybe this is also my time to, to explain. Like, uh, when we do, the, what is auto, what is go local? This is basically the same. It's just also, the manner lang po ng approach is different. So we go to the, the regions, and these are the auto products. We invite them to participate in the go local for them to be onboarded sa mga retail partners namin. Yun lang po yung pagkakaibahan. So when there, when there are their auto products, we bring them, we invite them, we go to the go local, and then the go local po, we go mainstream. Like we bring them to the department store, to our retail partners. And, and that's it po. Very open po. Whether your auto products and everything, we are open. It's just one activity. Meron lang po kasing step by step. So when you are ready with the with the go local, and then you're ready with the national trade fair. And kung time ka na, 
not, that your products are ready for export. So that's a time that you go to PTTC, the designs PTTC for trading, the basics of exporting, what are the requirements to export, and then the design center for product development, how to improve your packaging. And then if you're ready to export now with your products and everything, production capacity, ready na po. That's the time that you will participate in CITAM projects and Export Marketing Bureau. These are the two agencies that will bring you out and then display your products abroad. Thank you for eating okay. that. Uh, for, our next, uh, for our next question naman po, how can BDTP help our MSMEs to strengthen and promote their local products? Uh, Opo, the only way is to help, uh, we can help them in any ways in terms of all the programs, activities of the Bureau of Domestic Trade, whether physical or online. Um, kasama po ba sa requirements yung BIR registration when joining DTI mm -hmm. trade fairs kahit more business na lang daw po? Ano po yun? Kung kasama daw po yung, sa requirements mm -hmm. yung BIR registration Yung BIR registration po is for the go local kasi meron po talagang kailangan na nire-remit for that. But for the national trade fair, I think the, the registration and the business uh, permit is enough, I think. I, because I observe in our trade fair, the municipality of uh, Mega Mall, uh, San, Humua, San Juan, covered in San Juan ng Mega Mall, Opo, hindi naman po ano, nag issue pa. It's a different one po. Go local po requires BIR. Thank you po, Edie Chado. Um, time check po. It's already 11.10 a.m. Last call na po sa mga gusto pang magtanong from the consumers or private sectors. Otherwise po, we will close the session na po. Uh, Sir Rick, you have question po. No. Uh, well, actually, I cannot help it. Eh. Uh, sharing you sa akin. You know, uh, we are having a board of directors uh, meetings later at 12 o'clock. So nakikinig mm -hmm. kami kay uh, uh, Ma'am Ma Chato, liwanag. Mm -hmm. yung, yung reminiscent ka ni ano, dating Yusek Seni. Ah, Yusek Seni, Maglaya. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Napaka liwanag niya mag-discuss uh, uh -huh. miss natin. No? And... Mm -hmm. Yung Philippine Coalition of Consumer Welfare, uh, nasa legislation yan, lamang yung problema ni ano pala is uh, yung budget. Sayang. Mm. Pero hindi pa naman, pwedeng i-submit ba yung supplemental budget nyo kasi magbabay kam pa sa plenary. Uh, actually, ang PTCWI kami is uh, nakatutok yan uh, sa mga mm. participation ng GAA. At marami kasi actually pwedeng pagkuhanan uh, kung ganyan ano I can I can probably help you no uh, kasi lobbyist kami eh, sa sa mm. uh, ini and, and I'm not sure po I uh, uh, sorry sir po uh, kasi yung sa budget ibang group naman po but uh, okay. as far as I know po yung National Arts and Crafts Fair is a good project po kaya lang po it always goes from uh, congressional yeah. fund but that was former project of the Senator Ligarda now, yung National Arts, Crafts, and Fair. But I'm na-stop na po. Because... Yung isa pong trustee namin dito, si Maria Teresa Perez Sabaniego, mm -hmm. is napansin niyo, sabi, in National Arts, Crafts, mm -hmm. dapat mabudget siya. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yung nga po, at uh, kaya kami, malugod na tinutulungan niyo pa pala yung mga maliit mm -hmm. na negosyo kasi ito ay eh, ma-export mm -hmm eh dapat uh, propagate natin yung kaalaman nito. Mm -hmm. Kasi po, ako sa ASEAN Summit, meron hong mm -hmm. ginawa na pinuntahan po namin mismo yung sa mga lugar dyan sa Cotobato at saka sa Sultan Kadarat na island mm -hmm. na produkto at tapos na benta namin sa Cebu sa Makati Shangri-La dahil mm -hmm. wala sa So mm -hmm. yung namin, maganda, I'm sure you reach out sa LGU. Again, mm -hmm. Maraming maraming salamat mm -hmm. at this is our first to attend. <laughs> Sabi ko kasi naghihintay. Opo, oh, salamat din po sa pag-attend. It's also my first time and my privilege to be invited here. I'm not supposed to be here but our director, Maribik Bunoan, but she has a previous engagement so I, oh, I uh, ano po, pitch oh, yeah. for her. Tama mm -hmm. po sila, Yusek Ruth, Ngon, Lopez. Yes, opo. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, eh, <laughs> Welcome kami na yung number Thank namin you, mm -hmm. to help you. Maraming yes. sa Miss Onyate, uh, Director Chata, mabuhay po kayo. 
Thank you po. Maraming salamat po. And thank you po, Sir Rick and Edi Chato. Um, last two questions na lang po. Other, um, sorry po. Last two questions na lang po. And last call na po sa mga gusto pa pong magtanong. Otherwise, we will close the session na po. And for our next question, ma'am, are there DTI trade fairs in the region that MSMEs can participate in and promote their local products? Opo, meron po sila, meron po mga DTI trade fairs. Uh, this is being organized by our regional offices, provincial offices. Meron naman po. Reach out lang po kayo kung saan po yung DTI region, uh, regional office namin. Thank you po, AD. And for our last for our last question po, if ever po our products are not unique like bags, shoes, and you already have MSMEs po na may ganun ng product. Can we still participate po? Okay. Pwede po kung bagong produkto po, bago pa lang po kayo magpa-participate, we are also helping for those who are really wanted to to sell. Yung hindi pa po sila SMEs pa or anything. Mas maganda po yung tinutulungan, yung nag start pa lang. Masarap pong pakiramdam pag makita mo sila na, uy, nag export na sila. <laughs> okay lang po yun. Uh -huh. We'll help you kahit po may mga bugs and everything. But I'm sure meron po kayong unique uh, identity ng produkto ninyo. Oh, let's avoid po yung mga imitations. Dapat po create our own. Kasi ho, ang mga Pilipinos ay creative. Marami po tayong mga ideas. So pwede ho may mga applications na hindi naman ano. So pwede naman po yun. Thank you po, Edi Chato. Maraming salamat po sa mga nagtanong at mga magtatanong pa po. Again, Edi Chato, thank you for answering all the questions. We hope na mas napalawak po po ng session na ito kalaman ng ating participants about po sa importance ng ating mga local products. And before we close this session po, may we ask Edi Chato to give a short message for participants and provide them with this contact details. Should our participants have other queries and concerns po? Uh, once again, I'd like to, to thank you, you know, the, the Consumer Policy Advocacy Bureau for giving us the chance to, to, to present the programs and activities of the Bureau of Domestic Trade Promotion. Uh, again, marami salamat po, and this is not the last time that we will be meeting. Should you need other further assistance from us, please do not hesitate to uh, contact us. I hope we were able to provide you with the details, but on my last presentation, there's a Twitter, Facebook, uh, website of the Bureau of Domestic Trade so that we will be able to help you all the way. Maraming salamat and good luck po to all of us. Thank you po, Edi Chata, and thank you again to the DTI Bureau of Domestic Trade Promotion, or BDTP. This is to formally close our webinar for the day. Muli maraming maraming salamat sa ating very capable speaker from the Bureau of Domestic Trade Promotion, Assistant Director Rosario Tanyada Liwanas. At mula po sa Consumer Protection Group, maraming maraming salamat po sa ating mga participants na nakasama natin ngayong umaga. Huwag niyo pong kalimutang samahan kami muli sa aming mga susunod na webinar. Our announcement will be posted in our social media account. And for more updates, please like, follow, and subscribe to our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube accounts. That's DTI Consumer Care and DTI 1384 and DTI Philippines. Also, kindly accomplish and submit the survey, fo survey form para makakuha din po kayo ng link para ma-download ang presentation na ginamit ngayong umaga. Thank you po and stay safe, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you po. Mm -hmm. Para sa ating mamamayang Pilipino Para iwas daya dapat wais at alisto Mainam maging mapagmatsyag at mapanuri tayo Palakasin ang boses ng ating mga konsumer Dapat tama bawat presyo at serbisyo Produktong pasado lalo ang Recording.
recording stopped. Ay pangalagaan ng lahat tayo ay panalo. Layunin ng DTI ito. Ipatupad price at 7581. Consumer at 7394. Product standards 4109. For consumer care at iba pa, kaya 1384. Ipalaganap, karapatan at tungkulin Kaalamang tama sa consumer ibahagi Tulay sa kaunlaran, kalakalan ay palakasin Ito ang pagbabago para sa ikabubuti natin Dapat tapat, bawat presyo at serbisyo Produktong pasado lalo ang mga Pangunahing bilihin ang kalidad ng mga produkto at serbisyo Ay pangalagaan ng lahat tayo ay pangnalo Layunin ng DTI ito Ipatupad price at 75581 Consumer at 7394 Product standards 4109 For consumer care at iba pa Kaya 1384 dapat tama, dapat tapat mula sa DTI ipo.